CLINE 2020.2 introduces support for one of our most popular and longest awaited feature requests, make files. Now we don't consider this support complete just yet, as there are still some known and unknown limitations. But for many or most projects, it's working well and we feel it's ready to bring to a wider audience. For some more depth on the background, limitations and troubleshooting, please see the dedicated blog post mentioned here. But now let's see how it works in practice. We'll start with a very simple project. This has been freshly cloned from GitHub. We're first presented with the recommendation to run the clean target. This is important as, as the message says, it can miss some files otherwise. And that's it. Because this is a small project, the initial opening was fairly instant. If we look at the build tool window, we can see that it took a few seconds to load. We can open the make file itself if we like. It has some basic syntax highlighting, but you'll see that it's offering a plugin to install for a richer editing experience. Now that's not strictly necessary, but you may want to do that if you do a lot of editing. But in any event, we plan to bundle that plugin's functionality in the future anyway. Now, if we open a source file, we can see that we can navigate around, which relies on CLINE's understanding of the project settings. And of course we can build. Now when building, the build output actually goes to the messages window, which doesn't appear automatically for now. So it's just a case of opening that for yourself if you want to see it. And we can see here that it has built the project in source. We can configure it to build out of source too, but how you do that varies depending on the type of the project. And we'll see a bit more about that later. But now let's run our app. For now, we don't automatically create a run config for you, but it's simple enough to add one. Just go to add configuration and add a make file application config. The targets dropdown has been pre-populated with the targets from the make file. So it's just a case of selecting one. We also need to tell it where to find the executable. Then we should be good to go. Now let's contrast that with something more ambitious. Here I've cloned the Postgres database server project. Again, this is fresh out of GitHub. The Postgres project is auto tools based, so we need to run configure before we can use the make file. And we should do that before we try to open it in CLINE. We're also gonna take the opportunity to configure it to build out of source. Auto tool supports this by letting you call configure from a subdirectory. That takes a moment or two, so we'll fast forward through that. Now the make files are configured, we can open the project in CLINE. Because we configured it from a subdirectory, we should initially open from there. Once again, we're being asked to clean the project. As it is a bigger project, it does take a little longer to load. And it's done. At this point, to clean up the project view, we should set the project root back to the parent folder. And now again, if we open one of the source files, we find we have code navigation. And of course we can build. Again, open the messages tool window to see the output. Now this does take a bit longer, so we're gonna skip ahead again. And there it is. Now running this is a little more complicated as there is an install step too, so we're gonna stop there for now. But we've seen that for many projects, including some larger and more complex ones, we can open and use them quite easily. Some others may have some extra steps involved and others still don't quite work yet. So we're maintaining a page with the usable status of many important open source projects, and we're still working hard to make this support as complete as possible. So do share your feedback with us to help us to get there as we bring make files to CLINE starting with 2020.2.